version of Life Hacks, we'll show you some new and interesting ways in which you can use your smartphone. Do you want to know what else you can do with your phone besides giving calls and sending messages? Well, stay tuned and find out! Do you enjoy macro photography but don't have the necessary equipment? Try out our next hack. Of course, we can't turn your smartphone into a microscope, but still, we think you'll enjoy this idea. Cut off the necks from two plastic bottles. Attach them together with hot glue. For the lens, we'll need a magnifying glass without the handle. Glue it to the plastic necks we cut off previously, and our macro lens is ready. Attach it to our phone's case and enjoy the high-resolution photos. The dinosaur fight is getting out of hand. Someone is definitely not getting out alive. Who are dino? But don't say goodbye to your dino friend just yet. With a stationary knife, cut the toy in half. Attach a suction cup. Now, your phone grew a cool tail. A real Jurassic phone. The transparent case looks like an icicle. We bet that the phone is feeling pretty cold right now. Let's try and warm it up a bit. We're going to need some plastic straws and a few different colors of yarn. We've got green and pink. Cut the straws the width of your case. Wrap a thick layer of thread around the straws. Glue the straws to the case, alternating the colors. When we cut the straws lengthwise, we get a fluffy mini carpet. Tidy up the edges with some scissors. A warm and cozy new outfit for your smartphone. It'll warm your phone as well as your hands. But it's almost springtime, so we'll show you how to decorate your phone without making it wear a coat. Outline the case on a piece of white self-adhering paper. Draw a geometric pattern with an ordinary pencil. Cut off parts of the pattern with a stationary knife. Make the placement of different pieces. Carefully glue them to the case. Now, your phone will definitely attract some attention. The next life hack is a special one for those who love Game of Thrones. Cut a cardboard box. Using scissors, give the box the shape of a throne. Make a round cardboard base. Cut some thin slices of Eva foam and glue them to the throne. On top of the foam, glue some small plastic swords. Add some toothpicks. Paint it! We finally found out who is the real heir to the Iron Throne. What did you say, John? Winter is coming? No, it's almost spring. Isn't that right, Daenerys? Your headphones are playing twisted tricks with you again. Don't waste your time trying to untangle them. Just watch our next life hack. We'll show you how to make a stylish headphone holder out of some ordinary pins. Add some decorative tape to your wooden pins. Glue them together facing opposite directions. And it's done! The misbehaving headphones are now pinned firmly in place. You think a fidget spinner is just a simple toy? Well, think again! Watch what we can do with it! Get a plastic phone case and, with some hot glue, attach a bottle cap to it. Glue the fidget spinner to the cap. Now, you have a comfortable handle so that your phone won't slip out of your hand. And, of course, an anti-stress case. And what do we have here? Look at this cutie and those ears! Do you want one too? Find a sock with a cute print and turn it inside out. Cut off the bottom and top parts. Seal one side with the help of a stapler. Fill it with some grains. Seal the other side with a hot glue gun. Make two pom-pom balls using some black threads. Glue them to the sock. The cute sofa with some peas is waiting for its princess. For our next life hack, we're going to need a headband and a thick elastic clothesline. Measure and cut two pieces of clothesline the size of your phone. 
Hot glue the pieces to the inside of the headband. Turn it back out and it's done. Now you can multitask. For example, talk to your friend and do your makeup at the same time. Bored with your old case, but too attached to it to throw it away? We've got a solution for you. Use your old phone case as a soap tray. The excess water will drain through the opening for the camera. And it's very easy to clean. Do you like Lego blocks? Today, we'll build a nice and handy phone stand. Build a small brick wall on the base. Put a couple more Lego blocks right next to the wall. Now that our phone is securely fixed in place, we can continue watching our favorite channel. Another quick way of making a phone stand would be using a plastic card and some binder clips. Bind the clips to three sides of the card. Place the phone between the handles of the binder clips. And it's done before you can even say the word holder. Time to start your playlist. The headphones are in a mess once again. Just a moment, let's fix that. Take two sheets of felt of different colors. Using a paper template, outline and cut out two arrows. Place a flexible piece of wire between them and join with hot glue. An original pin to keep your wires from tangling up. Droplets on your screen? That's no good, is it? We'll show you how to protect your screen from moisture. Get a Ziploc bag and cut it to the size of your phone. Using baking paper and a hot hair iron, seal the sides of the bag. Now the phone is in good hands. I mean, in a good bag. Give it a try. It works! Tired of watching videos on a small screen? Let's build a projector. Get an ordinary shoebox and a magnifying glass. Outline the edges of the glass on one of the smaller sides of the box and cut an opening. Glue the magnifying glass to the opening in the box, applying a good amount of glue to the edges. Make a cardboard wall that fits in the box and decorate it with some colorful paper. Attach the phone inside the cardboard wall and place it in the middle of our projector. Turn on your favorite channel. Firmly close the lid and dim the lights in the room. There is some awesome widescreen magic right there on your bedroom wall. But don't turn on the lights just yet. You're going to need a soda can and a playful mood. Using a knife, cut off the bottom of the can. Outline the shape of the can on a thick piece of colored paper and cut it out. Use a template to cut out a star in the middle of the circle and glue our paper lens to the bottom of the can. Turn on the flashlight on the phone and place the can next to the light so that it shines through. It's your time to shine like a star. But beware, for the night is dark and full of terrors. Ah! A spider! And if you enjoyed playing in the dark, then you'll very much enjoy our next life hack as well. The good old fidget spinner and some colorful balloons are going to be the stars of the show. Take out the weights from the spinner. Ooh! Now it's spinning even faster. Cut off the tip of a balloon and pull it on the end of the spinner. Cut off the excess material. Attach the spinner to the back of the phone so that the outer hole of the spinner is right next to the camera flash. Turn on the flashlight. Wow, it's just like a disco party. But where's the music? It's time to dance. But this party is still missing something. Let's add some more lights and colors. Fill some balloons with water. Don't fill them up completely so that they're easier to seal. Turn on the flashlight and place the balloons on the light. Glowing balloons. There's definitely something magical about that. Tired of those bright lights and colors? Maybe it's time to get some sleep. We've got an idea for a very mellow night lamp. With some scissors, shrink a plastic straw and make four cuts on the base. Unfold the plastic petals. Tape the straw to the flashlight on the phone. Turn it on. This light is so relaxing and calming. Where's my pillow? Fingerprints on your screen? It even has a few scratches on it. We've got a life hack for that, too. Apply a small amount of toothpaste to the screen. Rub it in with light circular motion. Using a soft cloth, wipe off the paste and clean the screen. Now, the phone is so clean, you can use it as a mirror. 
The power socket is hard to reach, and the phone keeps dangling on the charger cable. Let's do something about it. Make some marking on a plastic bottle. Make some holes with a knife, then cut out the needed shape with scissors. Outline and cut out an opening for the power supply. Pull the charger cable through the bottleneck. It's time to charge our battery. Very convenient. We hope you enjoyed our life hack. Leave a comment below and tell us which hack you found the most useful. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to Troom Troom Select. Press the bell icon to get notified of our newest release of fun and creative everyday life hacks.